don't really see in a casual setting uh, much discussion of, oh, did you see what the Secretary General tweeted? Uh, that said, uh, it has been very notable that uh, prominent NATO officials, the Secretary General, Admiral Stavridis, uh, do have uh, much emphasis placed on their use of Twitter, on Facebook, and other social media platforms. However, it'll remain to be seen how they get the word out that you know you should be following them on Twitter. I think a lot of organizations, especially on the larger scale, pay lip service to social media. Um, and social media is something that you really have to do. You can't talk about social media. You would have to do social media. It's an all-in proposition. Uh, so I'm glad to see that NATO is taking some steps in terms of creating some Twitter accounts, getting the Secretary General online, Facebook, and all those wonderful platforms. But again, they're things that have to be updated consistently, frequently, um, all the time, every day, uh, to really gather the kind of following that is going to have a significant impact on what you're doing. If NATO's got a story to tell, it really should place it primarily in media that a younger generation uses. Uh, I don't really know of a, of a YouTube channel for NATO. Uh, videos, as, as you know, this module might demonstrate, uh, is, is more immediately receptive, more impactful uh, to, to younger people. I don't really get much of a strong NATO branding uh, in places like, like Twitter and Facebook and virtual spaces where people tend to congregate and want to. And I think a lot of organizations fall into the trap of sort of just tweeting their most recent documents and whatnot, and people just simply aren't going to read that. They want to know, you know, maybe not necessarily what the Secretary General had for breakfast, but what's his personal opinion on some things. So there needs to be a little bit of soul to it as well. So um, I think certainly, you know, it can be a very powerful tool. Most people these days, including myself, I use Twitter really as a news feed. So I'm, I'm you know, pretty much forsaking going directly to news sites and, 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 and you know, I'm following news organizations, I'm following personalities, experts in the fields um, that I'm working on, and, and organizations like, like NATO as well. So I think there's a real opportunity to connect there with the younger generation, but it can't just be paying lip service to it or basically just doing what you were doing before and posting it on Twitter. You have to use the medium, maximize the medium, and understand the medium. I think a lot of people jump into social not really even knowing how to use the tools within that platform. Um, a lot of news uh, is obviously made in the big newspapers, right? Like the Washington Post, the New York Times, etc. Um, I found success actually occurs when you get out and you take the time to talk to the smaller regional papers um, and and some uh, uh, regionally based websites, for example, um, because they, the, these are outlets that have hundreds of thousands of readers uh, who don't think that they should pick up a copy of the New York Times every day.